AI content creation is trending right now. That's why you can see channels like this, 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 and also this getting massive views just from creating AI content, creating content with AI. For example, this channel here, they are making over $2,000 every month, yet no one knows who runs it. You never see their face. That means you can basically clone, or should I say, you could duplicate this result by creating different channels, all right? You can own multiple channels and duplicate the results. We are in the content era, which means that if you're not creating content, you will, in time, lose relevance in the online space. And according to Forbes, the content creation industry is worth 250 billion in 2025. You only need a tiny of that fraction to be okay you don't need all that money right you just need a tiny to be okay and creating content with ai on youtube is a quick way to get there and that's why in this video i'm going to show you step by step how to use ai to create a profitable youtube channel this video is going to be different because it's not you know it's not like regular ones that i do i'm going to share a tool a powerful tool that will give you advantage over other content creators so i'm going to share the full process from planning teams to character training and all that so you're going to see exactly how it is properly done you don't have to jump from one tool to another two i'm going to show you a platform that has everything my name is charles let's dive in The first step is planning. You don't just jump in and start creating random videos. In planning, you're going to do these four things. The first is to choose a niche. So you're gonna to go to ChatGPT, and then you're going to enter this prompt right here. You're gonna enter this prompt, which is just basically telling ChatGPT to give you list of niches that you know you could possibly go into so it's going to give you a result like this with a list of niches you just don't want to post random videos that don't really make sense you want to build a themed audience that you can later on monetize in different ways after choosing a niche the next thing they're going to do is to look for the top 10 channels in that niche study the channels and then learn from their videos learn from each other videos and pick up something unique guys if you have not subscribed to this channel hit the subscribe button like this video and also drop a comment in the comment section ask me any question all right so moving on the next thing to do in planning is market research but don't be scared it is nothing hard it is just simply searching for content that people want to see all right it's just understanding the type of content to create in the niche that you have chosen you don't want to create content that people are not interested in or that people are not searching for so you're going to use this tool you're going to use google trends to find out what people want to watch so you're going to click search for google trends on google and then click on the first link it's going to take you to google trends then you're going to click on explore and here you can search for any theme and find out the kind of questions people are asking around our theme. Another tool you can use to do this is answerthepublic.com. It's the same. You go to answer the public, just enter a search term, and it's going to give you a list of results. I'm going to say history of search term. Click on it, and it's going to search. I'm going to select the country. I'm going to choose worldwide. Choose in the past 90 days, all categories, and boom. We have the results right here so a lot of people are trying to understand how valentine's day came to be so down here you can see people want to understand what black history month is all about all these are content ideas that you have so based on what is showing here you can you know use these queries to create videos and i'll be showing you how to do that in a second so i'm just going to pick one i'm going to use this one that is the top, which is history of Valentine's Day. I'm going to create a video about this. So what I'm going to do next is to head over to ChatGPT and enter this prompt. You're going to be saying, I'll be creating content on YouTube in the history niche. Please create the target audience persona. This is very important. This part is important. I'm going to show you where to use this to get good results. But before that, you can see the results that ChatGPT has given. You can see the target audience persona, Alex the Avid Historian, 
the age of people that might be likely or that might likely be interested in your channel, their pain points and preferences. You need to understand this about the type of people that you would be creating content for. So after planning, we'll work on the next step using ChatGPT. We are going to generate the video script that we'll be using for our video. So we are going to enter this prompt right here. We are going to say, you're a content creator with over 30 years of experience, write a YouTube video script on the topic history of valentine that caters to the target audience persona so we've entered the audience persona the target audience persona that chat gave us right alex the avid historian and then we just enter the sexual information that ensure the script captures and retains the audience attention throughout the video use simple and direct language without any preachy or flowery words don't add guides so we send this prompt and you can see the script that ChatGPT has given to us. So ChatGPT has given to us the script for the history of Valentine. Now, this was how Valentine came to be. This is the script, right? And we are going to use this script. Next, we are going to go to Mimic PC. Now, this platform is a cloud-based powerhouse that lets you access some of the best AI tools directly from your browser. So there are a lot of things that you can do with this platform from image generation to model training to you know audio creation video creation and creating consistent characters so what we're going to do is to click on free launch right here to you know sign up so i'm going to drop the link to mimic pc in the description just click on it and it's going to take you to the page where you can access this login page so i have an account so i'm going to log in so i'll just put in my details and log in. So once you're logged in, you're going to be faced with this dashboard. Now on this dashboard, you see that there are a lot, there are a bunch of AI apps that you can run instantly. Now, if you scroll down, you can see all these are AI apps that you can run. And they also have, you know, chatbots, face swap and all that on this platform right here. Now, since you want to generate AI videos, let's go over to the discover tab. Here you can see a list of workflows there's a massive library of ai workflows and these workflows are categorized under different categories like video generation image generation image editing restore and upscale flocks e-commerce well there are a lot of them there and you can also find ai influencer but before we get started let's go to my apps or let's click on add new app and scroll down to the bottom and click on Olama Web UI. So you are going to start this app. You are going to start with this, all right? So here you can choose any hardware, maybe medium, large, large pro ultra, any hardware that you want this app to run on. And here, this is instant. This is bugging. Bugging is usually cheaper, but um, sometimes it's not usually available. So uh, you might want to go with instant and then set the time, all right? So this is how much you'll be paying for 30 minutes. So if you want to use 10 minutes, just you want to use hardware for 10 minutes or the app for 10 minutes, uh, we just put 10 minutes, click on create and start. Okay. So I'm going to click on bargain and let's see how it goes. Uh, create and start. You can see here that the app is launching. So once the app has launched, we are going to select a model and we are going to use DeepSeek R1. Once you have selected this, we are going to go back to chat GPT and copy this script here. Remember we copied this before, but we're just gonna copy it again. We're gonna copy this script and then we are going to go back to Olama and paste it here. And then at the bottom down here, we are going to write something or let's, let's write it at the top, right? We are going to say, write the script in simple terms. It should start right away with an unsettling hook do not do the intro. We just want DeepSeek to start with an intense hook that will drive the viewer to keep listening and keep watching our video. So we have this, our prompt, and we have the script generated with ChatGPT. Now it is very important that you optimize your script with DeepSeek on Olama Web UI because um, DeepSeek is one of you know one of the new best AI tools. Uh, that you can use, you know, to generate text, and it's, it's quite good. So we are going to send this. And boom, we have our script ready. Let's read the hook, just the hook. Love is everywhere on February 14th. Flowers, chocolates, heartfelt notes. But what you might not know is that Valentine's Day started as a dark, bloody story of rebellion, sacrifice, and blending traditions. Now you can see the hook. The hook is interesting alone. So once it starts, you know, uh, generating 
your videos, you're going to feel it, right? So let's start. What we're going to do next after getting the script is to get our prompts for generating the images that we're going to use for this video. But before we do that, let's copy this script. We're going to copy script down here. We're going to copy it and paste it on a Google Doc, a fresh Google Doc. We paste it here, right click and paste without formatting. And we have our script ready here. The next thing we're going to get is the prompt, right? We're going to create a new tab for the prompt. So we're going to ask DeepSeek. We're going to say, write text to image prompts to generate images for each scene. Keep in mind the theme and the era of the story, ensuring that each image fits seamlessly into the narrative. So we are going to send this. Now we're going to copy this prompt to a Google Doc. We're just going to copy it here, from here down. All these are prompts that I'll be using to generate images. And then from the image, we are going to generate videos. So we are going to take this here and paste here. Now we've copied our prompt. We are going to generate the image. Now we are going to stop this. We're going to stop this app from running and we are going to run an image generator. Now we're going to click on discover and then we are going to scroll down and we are going to look for an image generation tool. All these are image generation tools. So we are going to choose one by focus. So we are going to use focus, right? So we are going to click on add new app and then we're going to click on focus. We're going to start this right here, start this app here, and then we are going to select the hardware. So I'm going to use bargain also, and I'm going to use 10 minutes to generate the images. So focus is an image generation tool. What we are going to do is to enter the prompt here that we want to use to generate the images. Remember we have posted our prompts here. So we are going to copy this prompt. But before we copy it, we are going to add something else. We are going to add this, which says highly detailed, realistic, hyper realistic detail in facial expression, ultra wide angle, 4K resolution, and just add this, you know, to give it some form of depth. Right. So we click, go back to focus and we're going to paste the prompt here. Okay. And then we're going to click on advanced. I've click on advanced. You see that there are other things that you can tweak here. Uh, settings. You are going to use realistic. You are going to change to realistic, and then the styles. You don't need to do anything here. You don't need to do anything here. But there are different styles that you can choose from anime to cinematic and all that. And then model. You can see the model we are using. We are using Laura. All right, Laura one and um advanced here you can set or increase the guidance and image sharpness and all that so we increase this to like four all right and then we'll go to settings and then we increase the number of images so we'll have options to choose from to four and we'll set the aspect ratio i'm going to use this all right i'm going to use this so get a good image all right now once you're done um you can change this to png or jpg the next thing we're going to do is to click on enhance and it's going to give us an enhanced quality image so we're going to click on generate and wait for our image and boom we have four images ready for us to use so we are going to select this image here you can see it's like secret wedding we are going to download this remember i can generate as much images as possible if you don't get the right image you redo it and redo it until you get what you want so we are going to generate the next one which is this, we are going to copy this and go back to focus. And then I'm going to paste it from here. And then I'm going to click on generate. So I'm going to generate this for all the image prompts. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to stop this and then generate the video. So after stopping it, the next thing we are going to do is to go to the workflow, click on discover, and then we're going to go to a video generator to generate videos. So what we're going to do is to click on image to video here. We are going to click on this and then click on start. And then right here, we are going to choose the hardware. I'm going to use this hardware right here. I'm going to use instant. I'm just going to do this for, let's say 15 minutes, create and start. All right. Now we have our LTX video generator open. Now the great thing about this particular workflow is they have the text to video and 
image to video. So you can use text to generate video and it's quite impressive. You can also use image to generate video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use image I2V. I'm going to click here, click on I2V and this is the image to video generator. So what we are going to do here, you can see the workflow looks good. I'm going to zoom in and click on upload. We're going to upload the image. Upload this image here, the image you generated. Once you've uploaded it, the next thing we are going to do is to scroll down here and then add a prompt here, which would guide the image generation. So we can enter it here. And the next thing we're going to do is to set the size, right? So we are going to come down to the model configurator and then I'm going to click on this preset button here and choose we are going to choose 768 by 512. Now, um, the higher the resolution, you know, the lower the frame um, rate and the lower the video size or the length of the video. So we want more uh, frame rates. We want something like this, but still it's going to reduce the quality. Uh, but if you have lower quality video, it's going to be longer. If you have higher quality video, the video is going to be shorter. So we are going to click here, 76 by 512. So once you have set this as a preset, uh, we confirm that it's going to save as a video here. All right. It's going to save as a video right here, which is MP4. So don't worry. This workflow is already preset for you. You don't need to do anything. The only thing that you need to do is to set the model configurator right here. All right, you just change it to um, the resolution that you want, like I explained, and upload the image, and you're good to go. And then once you're done, you click on Q, and if you click right here, you're going to see the work is in Q. And boom, we have our video set. You can see the secret marriage going on here. So if you click on this eye icon here, you're going to view the video in full. So let's play this. You can see the secret market. You can see the secret wedding going on right here. It's a very short video, beautiful. What we're going to do next is to generate the other video. But before that, we're going to save this. I'm going to click here and click on download. So for all the images that we generated, we are going to turn those images to videos. So just repeat the same process for all of them. And if, if you click on text to video, what you're going to do is just to enter the prompt here and it's going to generate a video for you. It's quite simple. So after generating your video, you can click on stop to stop the app from running. All right, you click on stop and then you stop the app from running. So once you're done, you're going to take all the images and all the videos that you have generated. You're going to take them to CapCut as well as taking the audio that you've generated. If you scroll down here, you can see they have audio generation apps that you can use to generate audio. So once you've generated your audio with the script, you put all of them together on CapCut. Once you have this, what you're going to do is just to export it and you're going to have a video like this. What do you think? Love is everywhere on February 14th. Flowers, chocolates, heartfelt notes. But what you might not know is that Valentine's Day started as a dark, bloody story of rebellion, sacrifice, and blending traditions. Hundreds of years ago, a Roman priest named St. Valentine defied Emperor Claudius II. Wow, this looks good. I know you can make yours better by trying it out. So it's very easy. Just go to mimicpc.com and try it out, all right? This platform gives you the flexibility. You don't need to start jumping from one app to another app to another website and all that. It has all in one, okay? Now, what you can do is to come down to Tutorial Hub on the dashboard. Now, on Tutorial Hub, if you click on it, you'll see there are different tutorials on how to use DeepSeek, one video um and other things how to do very good image generation how to use flux flux is one of the best models that gives you hyper realistic videos so you can try out flux just watch these videos in this tutorial section right here to learn how to use it properly if you still find it complex for you so click on the link in the description and try out Mimic PC, use it to create videos for YouTube channels, create themed YouTube channels, and then start monetizing your videos. There are a lot of opportunities there. If you have any question, drop it in the comment section. If you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe. There are lots of helpful videos. Like this video, share. If you have questions, ask. 
Remember, drop it in the comment section and I'm going to see you in this video right here. Thank <laughs> you.